Hi guys, Pathful Gaming right here right now bringing you another coaching session today with Alex who is currently top 100 EU challenger. EU West. EU West. Hi Alex. Hey, what's up? So you sent me a game where you said you performed kind of poorly. So let's let's review it. Yeah, sure. I feel like I could probably have done the early game better since I ended up 6th place due to being very low HP at the like beginning of stage 4, I believe. Okay. You don't have to spoil it for us, but, but but we'll see. We'll see what went wrong. Um, yeah. What do you what do you why did you get a cloak? It's because I think at this time, like I just started experimenting with starting like Hurricane very often because I noticed Hurricane was actually a decent item, and I feel like the components are very uncontested. So therefore, I think it was like I just wanted to try starting Hurricane like every game. Also, I missed the chain vest here, I think, okay. and I preferred cloak over sh over the belt. Like all the chain vests got taken. Okay, yeah, chain vest is obviously the best one, but like I always go for yeah, belt. exactly. I always yeah, go for like belt. I. I the reason I like Cloak is because I like Chalice, I think Hurricane is good, and I also like Ionic Spark early game, and sometimes Dragonclaw isn't even that bad. Okay. Especially if you have like a two-star Vanguard in the early game. Fair enough, fair enough, I'll keep that in mind. Probably won't stop me from going for Belt, but... <laughs> nah, I think Belt is probably the better option, like I was kind of limit testing a little Ooh, bit here. Ooh, wow. That's six gold, and I should probably sell the Kalista unless I hit like more cultists because it's like. But I really is a unit I always prefer to keep. I'm not sure exactly what I did here. But usually you don't never want to keep that much gold on the bench in the early game. Yep, agree. You're putting in the warlords for warlord synergy in case you end up playing them. Smart. Exactly. It's just like for the warlord stacks, I always do that. If like I'm holding warlords, might as well play them. Same like way when you have a cane, you always want to play him, even if you might not he have him in your real team, just to get the uh, like tormented stacks going. Mm -hmm. And there I found the third warlord, so it's probably going to be a warlord start. Yeah, there I saw those and pre level. Since I don't have a chosen, I think oh, that's the wow. reason okay, behind okay, me okay, okay. pre leveling. So there's two ways to do this. Yeah. Um, you can get to two, and that's six, seven. You can get the ten gold here. Garen yes, can, I probably Garen can. Can pretty much solo this, and you can be a ten gold. Yeah, that's correct. Have you ever like used like thought of that option or done that? I usually don't go for hard econ. The way I play the game is usually to try and play my strongest board okay. and. If I lose the first round and I don't have a good chosen, that's when I start considering maybe I should start going on a loose streak and hard econ. But like these rounds, I usually just try to get as strong of a team as possible, unless it's like I can still keep three units and have 10 gold. Then I usually like try to make 10 gold and at least have an okay team. But in the early game, I never want to have like an extremely weak team and stack too much HP unless like I'm forced to, I don't hit enough stuff. Okay, because from this point, if you get the 10 gold next round, you can just buy two more units and you have like an okay team. And I think yeah, with, that makes sense. With Runans, I it's highly doubtful that you'll actually win the first two or three rounds anyway. Yeah, unless I have a vein two, I think Runans is not a very good starting item. After after some like experimenting the past few like the past week basically. So I think you need vein like, two in the early game. I wouldn't really do this either, but I've seen other streamers do it, so it's like something like better streamers, like uh, I think it was Hydra today that I watched. Or Dace, yeah. no, Hydra or Dasic, like one of those guys, and they did it. And obviously they, they're much yeah. better than me, so... Yeah, it's more like, I think oh, Hurricane no. on some champ. Oh, you didn't even get it? Yeah, no, oh, okay. I could have gotten it, but uh, Soldiana made he leveled up, or I could have made even more gold, like 10 gold, if you I did something. You would have definitely made, like, 10 gold, and you could have actually bought the shop afterwards. Yeah, so, that like, makes sense. You, you could have bought... Uh, what was, whatever was in the shop, what was in the shop? Yeah, I think I was expecting, uh, expecting an item because you usually get three item openers, so I didn't really consider the possibility that I would drop even more gold. gold. You already got six gold, so it's... I don't know, yeah. I, think, I think six gold is usually, like, an item. I don't think you, yeah. get, you can get six gold and three items. I think that would be too much. I've gotten four gold, I think, and three items. Like, you get a four gold drop, or, like, three gold and an eco, and then yeah, three items, get, but I've never that, gotten, I don't like... Think Maybe, maybe like i don't know the openers exactly but i think you high yeah. rolled gold here so yeah and then you could have bought yeah. maybe the jarvan or maybe like whatever that just just like I, I don't know i'm just like throwing out options if you're in this position where you don't really have 
Yeah, uh, a strong, that makes sense. Strong of the game. The reason I wanted to play the Jarl in that round is just because, like, it's a warlord. I wanted to yeah. stack on him. Of so course. I wanted I mean, to yeah, get, like, you, all the warlords you play, him, you play him and you buy everything, and yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, here you have warlords. Also, have... right here, I'm not sure, like, I can make 10 here as well if I just, like, sell the Jarl and the two other things on bench. Yeah, instead um, I put the Hurricane on Vayne, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna let you, like, Oh, here I wouldn't have. Ball. Yeah, here I wouldn't have made ten. Here I wouldn't have made ten. Yeah, I agree. That was probably a misplay, especially since I have only one stars. So I don't have a chosen, so there's no way to actually try to play strongest board in a position where I basically don't have a board. So there's no reason to yeah, actually that, try to play strongest board. Uh, but one thing here, uh, what I would, again, here when you look at this. Yeah. I think you're losing this. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> he has a bramble, a chosen at least. So there's no need to slam the, whatever it's called, sorry, runes. Yeah, I don't know. that makes sense. I Sometimes know, like, I slam anyway because I think maybe I can kill another unit and save 2 HP from it. But I think you're correct. It's better to hold the item and if I know I can't win the round anyway. Like, you think runes actually is like a decent item that you, that you want? Like, do you want that item rather than like a ZZ or an Ionic or like... I think Runas is probably not an S tier item, but it's like A tier. I would say it's not bad. It's not good. It's okay. Okay, it's that's something I'm learning because like I I would never like I slammed it like once, and I regretted that game. So I I never slammed yeah. it. That's why I'm asking you. Yeah, so. I think it's okay. Like it's it's good on Jin. It's good on Zed. It's good on Warwick. It's decent on Ash, and I think that's it. And like it's good. It's a good to item it's to pair up with like Shoujin. It's fun on talent, I know that much. Yeah, it's fine on talent too, but uh, I wouldn't want... Like, if I I'm playing talent, fun, I prefer to have a perfect is... item. <laughs> more more of a fun than fine, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you stand you stand by the decision. You stand by the decision, yeah? I don't stand by slamming the hurricane here, I think. Okay. I stand by, like, no, generally slamming hurricanes, but I don't slam, stand by slamming the hurricane here. I think that okay. should have been, been a misplay, probably. Because my board is so fucking weak, I should just made 10 gold here most likely and try to be more like consistent in stage 3 instead since I'm probably not going to be able to make a stronger board in stage 2 yeah. unless I high roll. What I dislike here is the 3 gold. Yeah. There's a Zed in the shop. You just said Zed is really good on... Uh, Hurricane is really good on Zed. Yeah. I think I pick up the Janna here probably just because it's a Janna pair. I'm There's not sure. A Diana, Alessandra... Okay, so you do. No, I picked up okay. the said. I took the said for the hurricane. And you, and you I think. took up the assassin. So, sorry, sorry, I I spoke too soon. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Dazzler, Alessandra. You have no. Yeah, it, I I think that chosen is okay, but I I just thought like I have no. I don't have a tear. I don't have a rod. I literally don't have an item for it, and it doesn't fit my team. So I was just gonna greed it for a two cost chosen. Okay. Is yeah, what Dazzler, I think Alessandra, my thought was. The Dazzler Alessandra was like one of the worst chosen in my book, but okay. I agree. Unless you have a blue buff early game, I think it's okay. It's a good blue buff holder. Okay, we're not making money here? Now this, this I don't understand. We, we're making money here, right? Doesn't look like it. Oh, we God. should make money here. This feels 1, so 2, bad. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11 gold on yeah, bench. 11 gold on bench. Yeah. But and I'm loose streaking, and for some reason I decide to keep it. Yeah, that's... Not the way that's you want to play so it. so greedy. I agree, that's very yeah. greedy. Okay, good. Like, sometimes when I stream, I definitely don't play optimally because sometimes I'm, like, not as fu fully focused as I am, okay. like, when I'm try-harding on I my own. I get the same thing. I get the same thing, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a keeper can. And if I wanted to play strongest board, I should probably pick it up. Not sure if I do. At least I make 10 gold here. A little bit too late. <laughs> 3, 5, 7. If you had made gold 1 interest, yeah. if you had made 1 interest last turn, you'd be at... Um, 19. 18. 19. If I made gold the past 2 rounds, like you said, if I yeah. made 10 gold at the creep round, I would have had 20 here. For sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. And you'd still be on the same loss streak. Maybe you'd be at like... Instead of 80, two less HP, like 86, but two or it's four not a huge HP, difference. Yeah. Something like that. The vein is actually doing okay damage. So you maybe you'd be at 78 hurricane. HP, but you'd be at 20 plus gold. Yeah. 
Also, I should definitely pick up the cannon here. I have no idea why I did not do that when I already have a keeper in, and my next scene is probably gonna be a keeper since I don't have a warlord chosen. It's probably not gonna be a warlord game, so I have yeah. no idea why I decided to keep the Katarina over a cannon here. Yeah, I don't know when you're playing the Katarina, or if you're. Playing the <laughs> I'm probably never playing a Katarina. I slammed her kid. She needs a cloak for QSS. And so, okay, yeah. yeah, talk me through this. Um, you pick up a bow. I think it's because like I was just thinking like I have the hurricane so if it's gonna be a Z or a Warwick game it doesn't hurt to get another bow. Also I think bows are like just because you can make RFC if I'm playing Z I can make a Z zero otherwise and I can make a Titans for example if I'm playing Warwick or Rhythm and I just put the hurricane on Jin. Like there's some options but I think probably wow. getting the Shane Vest on the Cannon here and picking up the Cannon in the last shop would have been the better choice because it's a Cannon pair and it could be a GA on Cannon. So I think that would probably have been the correct play. I would also get three gold, so like tier or armor are three gold as well. Yeah. Like there's two good three gold items, so yeah. Especially then, since it could have been yeah. a Shoujin Hurricane, maybe the tier is good too. So getting the second bow when you already have a bow, I, I don't know, like personally I find bow one of the weakest items. No, I don't think it's that weak, but I think it's only strong under very specific circumstances. Like you need to have the two star Jin, two star Ash, or like two star of oh, some unit yeah. and on, on ash i think hurricane is almost only good if you have a death blade otherwise i prefer other oh. items like i guess like last whisper is good but then you don't want hurricane then you want another ad item and a defensive item okay so why why level here if you're losing can you can you explain that because i th i think i was thinking like i don't want to lose more hp and leveling here is still gonna give me dusk and vanguard and i'm pro i was thinking like i'm probably not gonna win any more fights anyway because okay. I still have only one. If I put in the Thresh, I get Dusk and Vanguard, and maybe I kill one or two more units and okay. don't sack as much HP. I think that was the thought process behind that. Uh, 15, 18. So you're going to be off, not going to hit 20 this round either. Yeah, I should definitely have been at 20 gold here. Especially when lose streaking. Yeah. You want to be a hard equening instead to be able to get back later in the game. So I, I mean, I get into this position as well, like, and then I get frustrated, like, I'm broke. My like my, my team is, is fucked. <laughs> my board is fucked. My items are fucked, and it's like stage two. What what am I doing? Like what's going on? Yeah, here I hit a very good chosen, so I think I take it 100%. And I think I swap the hurricane over to Jax just okay. because it's a duelist. Like just because it's a fucking two star Jax, it's gonna yeah. do more than the Vayne with the attack speed. I think that's. Didn't yeah. I do that? I think I did that. Yeah, I did that. And the thresh. Like okay. I think that's the correct play for sure. Um, Maybe not right here though, since it is the last round that I'm fully exactly. loose streaking, and putting in that Jax might make me win the round. Exactly, that's what I was gonna say. You should scout the the weak or the guys you haven't played yet, and make sure you lose to them. Because if you yeah. win right now, I'm fucked. You're completely because like your economy's fucked. Uh, your yeah. HP's kind of fucked, and like the only thing you had My going for you was the five are pretty streak. bad. And now if you don't get the five last streak. Then it's, oh no, oh no. So I mean, just from this, just from this, I can, I can tell <laughs> yeah. you it's going to be a shitty game. Okay, you got to 20 now. You got to 20 now. You could have definitely been at like 30. And if you yeah, got I the 5 lost streak. Gold, even if I full econ, yeah. for sure, I could be at 40 gold next oh. round. If I like go econ from first round and just full loss streak, that's true. You could be at 40 gold, 50 gold after, after Krugs. You yeah. have less HP, but you have 50 gold, you can recover that way. But like yeah. this, like from this, it's super hard to recover. I you're, agree. You're we'll see HP, how the game goes. Your items aren't that great, and yeah, you're you're broke as well. So let, yeah. let's see, let's see I, what you... I feel like unless you're win streaking the entire first stage, you should always try to make at least 30 gold at Krugs. If you don't have 30 gold by Krugs and you're not win streaking, then you're probably doing something wrong, which I obviously did, okay. obviously did this game. Unless you get like a two gold opener, then it's pretty fucking hard to do that. But yeah. if you get more than a two gold opener and you're not win streaking, then you should always be 30 gold by Krugs. Like okay. if you're win streaking, it's fine to not be 30 gold because you want to keep the win streak. So sometimes you have to like yeah, push level course. early. But, but the gold is worth it. Stuff. You get you get more interest. Yeah, in, yeah, exactly. But you got an eight you gold spend opener. Gold to make gold. You got an eight gold yeah. opener. Does this look like an eight gold yep. opener to you? 
Nah, if <laughs> this was an 8 gold opener, it should probably be at least like 45 gold here. Yeah. Hit the Thresh too though, so my team isn't that weak anymore, but I slammed the Titans. Like I said, I think I was thinking at this point probably to go Ribbon and the Hurricane goes on Jin and the okay. Titans goes on Ribbon. Fair enough. Or maybe like I was thinking maybe it's a Warwick game, like something like that. So I just slammed the Hurricane because... No, I mean wow. the Titans because I think yeah. like I won last round. I just hit the Thresh too, so my team isn't that weak anymore. And I found these in Zhao for Dually, so maybe I can actually try to win streak from this yeah, position. You're pretty strong. Which is, which is why I leveled here as well to just get... That I th also, I think I misplayed here because I was thinking I can get keepers in by leveling. Then but, I realized I yeah, didn't have the yeah. Hedge in anymore. So then I realized it was a stupid decision to and level. And you got rid of the Wayne as well at some point, right, for Dusk? Yeah. I got rid of the Wayne to yeah. put in the uh, Jax. But you saw, you, you had to solve, solve for Econ, yeah, at some point. Yeah, no, I saw the vein uh, when I swapped item over to Jax. Oh, yeah, yeah, and here yeah. I lose the round, and which is, is so G. fucking bad because I leveled. But you're at 30 gold still, which is actually respectable right now. Yeah, it's still okay, but I think like leveling there was not the correct play because I had nothing to put in. I thought that had I thought I had the cannon to put in. Yeah. Then I realized that I took out the Jarvan to play the Zinzao earlier. So like I could still not make keeper. So at this there point I'm like fuck Econ. it, I'm gonna make 40 gold and I just play yes. another Zinzao. Yes, that's what I wanted you to do from round one, like one one or one two when when you got the two three cost. Yeah. Just sack a few rounds. But now you're like you're sacking a few rounds, but you're already thirty five HP behind. Or like Also I'm sacking rounds in stage three instead of stage two, which is even more damage, which yep. is worse. Agree. But I'm still cleaning up okay. Like it's not That's bad not losses bad, just because my Jax is my Jax is such a fucking crank, to be honest. Like yeah. Chosen Jax in stage two and stage three is so strong. It's probably one of the best chosens, like two cost chosens you can get in that stage. So what do you want now? With Hecarim maybe being the other one. I think I took the Warwick just for the sole fact it's a Warwick, and I was thinking the cloak could be a QSS, and I just play Warwick this game. Like, uh, uh, Tyrants I don't, are... I don't know, I don't like this. I don't like this first pick, picking the shittiest item. So you picked a bow and you picked <laughs> yeah. a cloak. Like, yeah, I the first the cloak, cloak, okay. Cloak. But the second yeah. second cloak and another, and a bow, like, when you are when you have carousel priority. Yeah, like, if I get more cloaks here, then it's pretty much fucked. And I already got two cloaks from carousel, which means it's very likely I'm going to get more cloaks. Yeah, you have an actually natural cloak, so you might get another cloak, yep. But you, okay, so you picked it up. You picked up Warwick for Warwick. And the cloak like could be a QSS. Oh, it's so a divine. It no, it's a, it's like a divine Jax. It's a divine Jax. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think I even play the Warwick yet, just because I uh, figured out I could play Cassio instead and get two Dusk. Not sure if it's better. Not sure if this is better because uh, playing divine means I had to take out the Cassio and the Thresh, and the Thresh is two star. Didn't want to do that. Otherwise, I take a, take out the Gan and the Nidali. Which might be the correct pay, but then I lose Warlord and Nidalee is already fully stacked at two stars, so I think I just kept going with the Warlord and Dusk. Yep. I'm not sure that's the correct play. I think I had to make a decision here to make Econ as well. I mean, the decision here is simple sell the Warwick, but. <laughs> yeah, sell the Warwick, but I wanted to keep it. I think. Yeah, probably no, sell I mean, the Warwick. You, you to picked be up the Warwick for the Warwick, and now, like, if you sell him, you, you feel bad, but, like. You saw the Warwick yeah. and, you, and you did I'm not sure. I'm, I think I actually might have done it. Like, saw the Warwick and the Wukong, and I'm like, fuck it. I'm, if I'm going to play Warwick, I'm going to find one later. We'll see. But I think I might have actually have done that here. That is the right play, but... Yeah, I guess... Let's see no. what I do. You, you take a sip of your... your I did drink. not. Drink. <laughs> yeah, I take a sip of my coffee instead. Your coffee, yeah. Your coffee. <laughs> I mean, these, these games are good. Like, I, I get into these positions quite often where I'm, like, kind of behind. I feel like I'm kind of behind from, from the beginning. But then it's yeah. like you realize you, you actually got yourself into the position where you're behind. Which yeah, is, I yeah. agree. Like, I've never went through the VOD of one of my own games before, which is very interesting to see yourself play because you can actually sometimes spot your own mistakes. Like, yeah. in this game, going through, like, it with you, I just feel like... Like, especially when you point them out as well, but like, I can see them 
on par with you, like what I did wrong when I take a look at the game afterwards, yeah, which like... I maybe didn't see then because obviously I did the mistakes. Yeah. What is this yeah, new master did. player doing, or new master player doing, or like? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I did. Here I just thought, like, I'm, I'm gonna sell the jacks here because I'm gonna roll it the fuck down next round. It's for yeah. one lottery time, and I have to do you, it. Like, I think the, the only times you can. Yeah, I need the lottery. Some games you don't need the lottery because you have like a bunch of two stars and your team is actually strong enough to survive to level eight. But this game, I'm like, fuck it, I'm 50 HP and I don't, I can't survive on a Jax yeah, at this correct, point. Correct. So good. Um, just, just. I, I got device, the two assess here. A device here. You should. Uh, whenever you, I guess, get bottom bottom four, or whenever you feel you made a mistake in a game, you gotta identify it. I usually do that on my stream after tough losses. I take a small break, clear my clear my head, and then I go back and yeah. I I review at which stage I think I made the crucial mistake. So it just you yeah, should, that's awesome. You should probably that sounds pretty smart. That. Yeah. Yeah, what I do, like, I used to, uh, like, make a quick mind note, and I, like, tell people on stream, like, I think what got me to this position, that game is this, but I don't go over the game, like, the VOD or anything. I just, yeah, like, I... try to think in my head a little bit quickly while I meet you yeah. for the next game. Because I just go back, like, okay, so here on stage four, when I rolled all the way down, or I, I know I made a mistake on stage three, rolling down too much, yeah. and that's why I lost the game. And I'm like, okay, I know it, I will never do this mistake again, or... A big mistake why I see your mistake is because I made similar mistake of not econing hard enough when losing and then having yep. no HP and no econ and then you're just then you just yeah like, yeah yeah you have to rely on one of the two I agree and here if you're quick enough you could have maybe sold the kindred and, and leveled if you're not playing kindred yeah that makes sense so then you're already level seven but I do kind of have boom rate the aim at times yeah. sorry what what you what uh, I sometimes have boomer APM, so that's that's that. What? Dude, you're like half my age. How yeah, I know, but my APM is not half your age. My APM is like twice my your age. age. <laughs> okay. So it's like, I mean, there's a merit. I know I can practice it up, but I like, I haven't tried practicing it up. I've never played a lot of FPS games, so I'm not like oh, that okay. fast to do it. Because I, I, came, I came to TFT from... from from auto chess in dota and i used to play dota so like my i used to play bad, auto chess a bit but that's a phone game and i never reached higher than bishop i think so okay 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 how yeah, how, exactly. is, how is this not <laughs> exactly. a top just... four how is this not a top four right now we'll see we'll see wait yeah yeah don't, don't put the fucking q sets on the warwick man you're gonna fucking keep that it's the correct thing is here is ie it's IE. I go for sure. IE Titans here. Yeah, actually, IE Titans doesn't sound that bad, but instead, I make Spark and I Titans the one star Warwick. Sounds good. That sounds better, yeah. Instead of IE Titans, so Ash actually pops off like crazy. Because I think each individual each individual shot quits, right? And she Yeah, exactly. She shoots. And the Hurricane shot arrows. crits as well. The Hurricane shot so is going to crit as well, up. so that's another. You stack up insanely fast. Yeah. And then she does 50% more damage. Yeah, that makes sense. I think my thought process was like, I'll just put these headers on Warwick, and then I have the sword saved for a GA on my Ash. And I'm okay. going to try to go for a GA. I think that was my thought process behind not slamming that. Because I felt like I needed a GA on my Ash in this Talon meta. But then again, if you have Elderwood think... Chosen Ash, you can probably get three Elderwood in. But if and you have... you're... She's gonna stack armor, so and Talon won't jump her. He's not gonna touch her with Titan. She's, he's not gonna touch her. That makes sense too. That makes sense. Like Titan yeah, is I don't know. probably better counter than GA because GA she gets popped and she gets popped again, but Titan she doesn't get touched until everything is dead. Yeah, because she stacks up even more armor afterwards. Exactly, and she does more damage. And uh, this is personal preference. Uh, yeah. I like Chalice more than Spark overall, and especially this late. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I like Chalice more than Spark, especially in this team as well. Especially since I'm not playing an AP-based comp. I'm going to play Hunters, so that's fully AD-based besides Kindred. But I'm not playing Kindred carry, so I don't need the Spark. So you're definitely correct there. Oh, Chalice. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Because Chalice buff buffs everything. Wow, yeah, okay, okay. Agree? Good, good, yeah. good. I agree on that part. Yeah. I mean, I think you lose this anyway, but yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, if I stand the IE, it still has a fucking Bramble z rot on his Kench, so I don't think I kill it either way. Um, okay, wait. So Maybe you... I kill it. Maybe I do kill it, but I mean, like, we can rewatch the fight. If you have like, maybe IE I do... and Titans, I'm pretty sure you clean this up. Maybe I clean it up, because Titans, like, the IE damage won't proc, but I do have a Hurricane, so it doesn't matter, because the IE is going to hit another unit, so that makes sense. You'll clean everything else. You, you'd clean everything else up, I think. Yeah, I agree. Or if my Hodge roll damage wouldn't have done the same thing. It's 50% more damage, yeah. same as Titans. But, like, my IE rolled healing, so I didn't have enough damage, basically, this fight, yeah. because my front line is pretty fucking shit. I have a one-star Warwick, like, that's basically my entire front line. He did get some CC off, but only one fear off, then he died. Yep. So you yeah, are like healing, my Ash but... is stuck on the Kench here. She doesn't deal any damage to that. Like, you know how the way Kench uh, counters Ash? Like, every individual shot is blocked by the Kench passive. And she does lots of little damage, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, if you... Basically, Ash can't kill Kench without a Giant Slayer if it's a Kench 3. I've been through that many times. Oh, like cool. some random dude in the lobby starts a Kench 3. So that, they're incredible. hit 3 hunters. I'm like, I need to get Elderwood in, so I just take out the good, good. Garen here. This is fine. Found the Zillion as well, so I'm like, there's no way I'm never playing the Zillion here. two Zillions, wonderful. I think what I should do from this spot is probably take out the Cassia and the Thresh and try to find Shen and Irelia. And that's probably why I'm holding an Irelia on bench. Irelia, and then I was I thinking. Agree. Lux, I'm yeah, not then, sure. Yeah, my idea behind Lux was maybe I'm gonna play Estra at level 9 and then I can get Duster Seam with Lux. So I just held her on the bench. Okay, okay. You said level 9? No, level 8, I level mean. Level 8? At level, like, I take out Hecarim for the Estra and then I play a Lux. I would... Because I'm not gonna need the Vanguards. Okay, you're at 38 HP and you're at 19 yeah. gold. Yeah. So you might not survive stage 4. So I would, yep. I would not plan on... Ezreal and Lux maybe on stage five. I would that makes sense. definitely econ here uh, to make like sell the Lux for twenty. Yeah, because maybe I'm never even going level eight this game, so planning for an Ezreal is yeah. just not a great play. I agree. So like a little like a little extra econ can't hurt, and you maybe sell her. Do you sell her? No, you. Yeah, <laughs> and like you, <laughs> you, yeah, you, you're even more correct here because if I sell the Lux, like Lux is not gonna be hard to find if I roll down fifty gold at level exactly. eight either. But every time I'm so like, you do this, good. like, oh, never mind, it's a sip of your coffee instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second time, like. I mean, I do like my coffee, not gonna lie. Like, I'm sitting with one right now, so. If you had sold the Lux, you'd be at 29 right now. 29. Yeah, and 29. Win, and then I could 30. probably win the round. If I win the round, then I would have made 30 here. So that's yep. correct. And I think I win the round. Great. I think I go on a win streak from this spot. Just because my this Ash is a fucking crank. Yep. But now you can't sell the Lux, because now, yep. So it's like minor yep. things. Minor, I mean, your your top challenger, obviously, I'm not going to yeah, like grill you on like a major thing. Like, it's it's these tiny things. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tiny thing. I definitely agree. I could have made like two extra gold here, and maybe that that's one roll. And maybe that one roll would have made me go top four instead of bots four. Like, you yep. know, you never know. Like, maybe I hit like zillion two on that one roll. Like, there's stuff like that. I'm... I, maybe what I haven't I been playing. Here? Yeah, yeah, I go for GA here, I think. Yeah. Enough That's probably the correct. But how much have you been scouting? Uh, usually, I don't think I've been scouting that much this game. And usually, when I. Re and recently, actually, I've been gotten better at it. But this is like a week ago. And I started streaming like two and a half weeks ago. And when I started streaming, I barely scouted at, at all okay. because I was focused on like making my team and looking at chat. But now I've been like getting better at just focusing on the game, and then when I have time over, then I look at the chat. Yeah, like so, exactly. I think I'm, I'm like... playing better now than I did when I started streaming. Yeah, because I'm then like, I was like kind of mixed between both. Ignore chat, or like you can talk through your thought process to chat, so they feel kind of like something's going on, but like not reacting to everything. Like I, I react stage two, sometimes stage three, but stage four onwards, yeah, I'm like, okay, guys, I'll get back to you later. Like maybe after the game, like, cause here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, also, I have a question oh. for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Would you wait, have gone for... Wait, 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 one yeah? second. One... Yeah, okay, so question, question, go ahead. Would you have gone for a Deathblade on the Ash or a GA on the Ash? Because I had the option to do both. I went for the GA. Well, would you have gone for the Death Deathblade instead? 
Okay, let me... Because it is an Elderwood chosen as, so it's each gonna stack armor against the Talon. So Talon won't Hold use up, the target bro. first, let so... Me, let me show you. Yeah. Let me show you. So, now you do it. Uh, wait, uh, fa okay, yeah. we gotta slow down. You're, you're scouting very fast. That's good, you're scouting fast. So, you're gonna, you're gonna flip through boards very fast, which you should have done before the carousel or like at the start of the carousel. Yeah. And did I miss it already? No. Okay. Death blade. Death blade. Death yep. blade. Yep. No talent. I agree. Death blade. Like as long as there's no assassin, death blade death is blade. better choice. Death blade. Death blade. Yeah. Death blade. Uh. Death blade. Maybe talent yep. guy. So maybe. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's gonna like pivot talent because death that's blade. one star and a two star chosen. Yeah. But death it's... blade. I agree. So it's like that makes sense. If you look at every board, there's no talent, so it's hundred percent death blade here. Yeah. And I'd say if there's the one if there's one talent, it's still death blade. If there's two talents, maybe not. If then maybe GA. If there's three talents or like Zeds or like other assassins, shades, whatever, it's GA. But like or like Ari or whatever. Like there's nothing nothing that would hinder your, your, your death blade. So Yeah, but, that makes sense. I should definitely have gone for the death blade then since there's barely no assassins in this lobby. Yeah. So like either either on four one I just I just slam the Runans, IE and Titans, which I think is super strong, especially on Elderwood Chosen Ash. Yeah, I I've think... never thought about slamming a Titans on Ash to be honest. Like I've thought about it, but I've never done it. Like in back in like first set of this set, you know, first yeah, patch, patch of this yeah. set, I was like, imagine a bloodthirster Titans IE Ash. Then I saw someone like ask like I think it was a big streamer in chat, like Fluffy or something, and it was like, nah, that sounds bad. And then it just like, like got said in my head that that is bad. So I never tried it because another big streamer that's higher ranked than me said so. But I yeah, never got down to try it. You gotta test these things. Yesterday I won yeah. one of my tournament games with uh, Blue Buff, Jude Gauntlet, Jude Gauntlet, Titans, Morgana. Huh. And I mean, I mean it sounds. It actually sounds like interesting how you can use Titans on like crit carries. I've always Why thought not? about that. It, 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 like. Ever since set three, when they changed Titans, like when they made Titans work with crit and all of that, yeah. Even then, I was like, maybe you can like do a Titans IE on like, let's say Vayne when she tumbles because uh, and you do some Chrono build to give her attack speed, something like that. But I've never gotten down to try it because I've all, always heard like people say like, no, you don't put Titans on like carries, you put it on tanks. But like right now, I mean, Morgana, it didn't work. I thought it would work with her like her ulti procs once. It yeah. doesn't proc. I thought it would proc more. <laughs> But what worked, what was really funny, was in the early game, yeah. it, I mean, I slammed the Titans because I only had, I had armor and, and bow, and I had a chosen Morgana. So I'm like, I I'm going Morgana. And yeah. it helped me preserve a lot of HP. And it helped, like, early on, whenever she would get hit by, like, random weak damage, it would make her do yeah. more damage and kill more things. So I, I really like Titans on Morgana in this instance, and it helped me get to, get to 8 faster and pop off. So like it's not a good item, but like if you slam titans, you should really consider using it like more flexibly. So yeah, also yeah. another thing, uh, I think just like a note why I liked to slam hurricane experiment with it is because I realized like so many champions in the early game is basically hurricane basically counts as an extra unit in terms of damage. Okay. If you think about it, like Tom Ken, she has a passive. His AD is one fifty. I tried one game yes just, just for the early game okay. in stage two. I slammed a hurricane on a time Kench too. The fucking Kench did like 3k damage a turn. And I was like, wait. So then I started experimenting with it a lot. And like, I realized hurricane is decent, but it's not as good as I thought. But lo like also on Elise, it's good because it uh, procs on her healing passive. Ooh, so like there okay. is some like uses you can do with hurricane just in stage two. But after stage two, it gets pretty weak unless you have like a Bane two or like someone that really can use the pa hurricane passive well. But like in stage two, I think there's like, very creative uses you can do with Hurricane to win okay. streak. I mean, I used IE on Kench because I know he does insane amounts of damage. So he yeah, it's like Malphite like... from last set. Like people did Bloodthirster on Malphite like in, for the early game. Yeah. Just because he had like incredibly high base AD. Yeah. Okay. So like this, this like this GA slam instead of Deathblade. It's it's the safe. It's a safe play, but like if Ash just cleans up instead of surviving, like she could have cleaned up already. 
Pretty yeah, sure. exactly. Like, she has, hasn't even died yet. Like, sure, I think I'm winning this. No, I, I would have won that fight with death. 100%. Babe. She would just clean up. Yeah. I agree. Like, she would, she, I, I mean, her death babe would be at, like, what, six stacks or something? Seven stacks? Probably even, yeah, seven stacks because she has a hurricane, so she assisted in every kill for sure. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure keeping the Kindred here is the correct play. Maybe I even should play the Irelia over the Kindred here. Like, it, it is another Hunter, but it's a one-star Kindred, and that is an Irelia that's going to give me Divine, and also it's an Irelia. Like, Irelia is fucking busted. Like, her ability, uh, like, the disarm effect is very good. But it uh, is another Hunter for my Chosen Ash, so I'm not sure. I would prefer, if anything, Lux over Irelia. That's... Yeah, that makes sense. Because you have enough front line, right? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I, I have the Warwick too now, so that's good. Over here as well with these guys. Right? Yeah. You don't want I really clumping up with these guys more. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, that's true. Lux would probably be better. Allow Ash to, like, buy some time for Ash to clean up even more. Especially if she had the Death Blade, would be even better. That's what I. Yeah, exactly. So if you. Had, no, but, but on the other hand, if you slam Death Blade, you want Kindred for the Hunter Procs. Makes sense too. Cause like Hunter proc with Deathblade Ash is insane. Yeah, it's it synergizes with the uh, with the AD. Yeah. But I think yeah, it's 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 about itemization and also about. But this guy, yeah, this guy you should probably beat. I hope. Yeah, I think most mistakes this game was made during stage two, probably when I did the very bad econ and like picked up that. weird items. Look yeah, that, that feels bad. Wonderful GA, wonderful GA there. So so much use yeah. from the GA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would probably have killed two more units if I had death blade. You would probably yeah, even <laughs> possibly could have won this. I don't know, like kill two units for sure. You would kill. The Yasuo the still has DA left. I think okay, the Jasso okay. um the Jax has the dodge yeah. mechanics, so okay, I think so I died to the Jax and Yasuo. But I think I killed the least in um, Fiora. And again, no Lux cell, so no econ. So like that's a lot of gold lost on the Lux. Yeah, it's I think it's five gold in total and now, now lost from the Lux. <laughs> now you sell her, wonderful. Yeah, yeah this... now I'm like, ah, I need to make 50. <laughs> this, this and I'm like, I'm in... never playing her. In all of my coaching sessions yeah. where like I see something, obviously when I'm playing, I don't see it. But when I'm coaching, I'm like, yeah, this is yeah. probably going to be a problem. And then you realize like two rounds after, like, yeah, damn it. Why don't I sell? Oh, nice. Oh, it's like, oh, that's a bramble. Okay. That's so good. So I just slam it on the Warwick immediately. So now the Warwick can actually carry almost with these items. Like those Warwick items are pretty good besides the spark. Like, the spark was maybe a hurricane or, like, let's say a dragon claw. That Warwick could actually, like, be a crank. Yeah. Like, um, that Warwick is still going to be pretty strong. Like, a good tank, for sure. But this, I probably want Divine in at this like. point. This because like. it's a three-item Warwick. So I definitely want Divine in somehow. Uh, it's uh, Irelia over over Kindred here. But it's not level up. You cannot level up here. You don't think it's level... Yeah, yeah, I have too little gold to roll. Like, if you... Like, leveling up here says, like, okay, I don't want to be eighth. But I'm probably not even, yeah. even going to top 4. Yeah. Because if you wait a turn, you get, I don't know how much, you get interest gold, which is which is 5 more gold. 5 gold, plus I get 10, uh, 5 more, so I'm going to have 30 gold instead of 18 gold. Through and, and you're going to spend 4 less on leveling as well, because it's a natural interval. So Yeah, so it's going to be like 35 gold instead of 18. So it's almost roll. like 20 more gold to roll. Yeah. Okay. Did find find the Shendo and I do think I take something out for the Irelia here. Yeah, the Kindred for the Adept and uh, Divine. Oh, but why did you not buy this Irelia? That's just... <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I don't know. I probably missed it in the shop to be honest okay. because I buy this Irelia. I'm pretty sure I sell the Ash and buy the Irelia. Yeah, here. I'm like, <laughs> wait, did I? M <laughs> that's Irelia yeah, too. Sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I know. I saw like I missed like th that's just like sometimes it happens. Like you just miss units you're looking for. Like I knew yeah. I was gonna play Irelia. I probably just missed it in the shop. Okay. Okay. And unfortunately, what I noticed is there's a three star Nunu, so you're not getting Nunu, which which is obviously better than the Hecarim. Hecarim, yeah. Because Nunu is for Warwick, so, right? Warwick needs more. HP. Yeah, exactly. And otherwise, I was thinking like Hecarim is gonna be Estral, but I didn't find the Estrals. Yep. There's also Aphelios, mm -hmm. which you would never play here, I think. Huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like Aphilus is just a stage 3 unit with Kindred if you have Hunters. Then you get out of him. How do you feel about second zillion over Kindred? Just a thought. Maybe. I was thinking like I already have the tier on zillion, so he's probably gonna cast. So I felt like I didn't need the second zillion. I felt like I just needed more damage since I... Yeah. I think I did this now. Like I'm like, fuck uh, Adept. I think I'm just gonna play a Lee Sin since it's a five cost and I think Lee Sin is a very good unit. But I don't know. I should probably scout the lobby first to see if a lot of people have QSS or not. Yeah. If a lot of people don't have QSS, I should probably play Irelia over the Lee Sin anyway. Okay, and you shouldn't put him there. He's naked. Yeah. And he's all by himself. He, he, yeah, okay, he should okay, be second okay. row. Yeah, yeah, okay. I moved him. He should like be second row behind. That's usually how you position oh, like so those kind of carries. Kick out Irelia, right? Let's slow down the last. I'm presuming this is the last. No, it shouldn't be last fight. It should not be last fight. No, I think I honestly win streak from this point on because I hit the zillion two, which a huge, which is a huge spike because now he casts every round because of the HP and I he all, he has a tear, so I actually yeah. think I started win streaking for a little bit here, but like one one loss is one death, like then I'm out. Yep. So I think I might have donkey rolled every turn here. I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, oh, that is the correct play now, but the f like rolling on five one was what guaranteed that you're not gonna do much better and yeah, that's a set so i'm like fuck the thresh it's probably better it gives brawler for the warwick and it's a set over a thresh and it only gives me like vanguard on the hecarim i think it's just a better unit then although it is a thresh too so i'm not 100 sure it's a correct play yeah um so here you didn't you didn't roll so are, you're saying that i really are right to get to 10 not sure i think i keep the Irelia because it's an Irelia pair or wait, never mind, I'm not playing Irelia. Then I should sell her. We'll see, like, I don't remember. I should sell her. I win this. The hard shielding from Ash is too much. Yep. When that happens, it's good. Okay, so here the play is either roll down sell or Irelia sell sure. her. Like, either you roll to zero or you sell her. But, like, yeah, being at eight does nothing for you. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I don't. I'm not even playing Irelia. I have a Lee Sin, so why would I even keep Irelia? What did I get? I can't really see. It. It's a little nah, bit pixely for me. I'm just uh, looking at your board, which what you're doing as well. <laughs> but you're. I think I went for a Lee Sin or set item, right? Yeah, it's a Zeke. I just wanted more attack speed on the Ash. I probably put it on the Zillion and put the Zillion in between Kindred and Ash. But oh, that's what I would should do. I'm not sure if I did that. Like if you had Kindred to it, probably goes in the Kindred and Zillion next to Kindred. Yeah. But otherwise, if it's Kindred one, I think the HP and like attack speed on Zillion is more worth it. Right, attack damage. Just to get him to cast faster. I don't care about the attack damage on Zillion. It's about the HP. Oh, but the like, HP. If, okay. Yeah, the HP and the attack speed he gets either way because I can position yeah, him yeah. next to. But like, if it's a Kindred one, I don't really care about the AD on her. But the so I was just thinking it's procs on hunter so like 15 1580 with hunter is actually i don't know 25. i think it's if with three hunter it's 200 percent yeah so, so i think it's 30. like yeah it's like 30 80. yeah which is like okay but i still think like hp on zillion in that position would have mattered more just to guarantee the cast but he already has a tier so i yeah. don't know if it's needed i don't think it's and i think kindred will not die as quickly that's the thing yeah well is it Zillion isn't dying, but Kindred won't die as quickly. Yeah, and looking at these options, sense. um, yeah, you already have everything you need. I'm just, I'm just like it could have been like RFC Lee, but they guided that, so you can't really play RFC Lee anymore. It used to be good. They, what did they do? How did they? What did they? They do? made at least in primary stun from four to two seconds. So like, if you have RFC on Lee, he's gonna kick them. They go into the corner. But they're not going to be perma stun, so after a while they're going to start walking up to the Lee Sin, so it's never going to be able to kick them out. Unless you also have a blue buff, I think. Oh! And they're ranged. Okay, so okay. you never RFC the Lee Sin anymore unless you have blue buff, because then the target is never going to get kicked out. Okay. Mortog said he didn't like the change and he wants to revert it and maybe like nerf the uh, like stun to the other units instead. Because Lee Sin was like apparently broken, so they nerfed him this patch. Yeah, I know. Like I know, he had, I a, very, okay, he so had a very high win rate. Yeah, he had a very high win that. rate. I didn't realize the implications were that you don't want RFC because I, 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 I rarely play him. I don't think he's as good as the other, other legendaries. 
Uh, here I'm, I'm thinking about the the cane over cane over kindred, but it's too late. Like if you were at higher HP, I would probably play the cane. Because yeah, I'm but he needs six. three rounds to yeah. stack up. But you're probably not getting to stage six, so that's that's the right play. If you if you knew you could get to stage six, maybe consider taking the cane. But yeah, you're not yeah, because cane like cane with form is probably better than kindred here. But I don't think I yeah. was just thinking like. I'm just gonna play strongest board right now because yeah, all yeah. I'm trying, I'm probably like, my thought process was probably like, I'm playing for top five this game. I'm just gonna try to get fifth place and go next. Like, I'm too low HP. Find the Estral here, which is huge. Then I Zeke's that, and I probably put Estral next to it to get a faster cast. Not sure. Good. I I should put Estral uh, where Ash is and probably Ash. Yeah, okay, I gave Warwick the attack speed. And look at that, you got a Lux. You got a Lux anyway, the one you're you're afraid you wouldn't find yeah. a Lux, so. <laughs> Four Divine as well, nice. Yeah, right now I'm just like spam rolling for like Aurelia 2, Shen 2 and all of that. I'm like, I need more two star frontline units right now, I only have Warwick. Although I do have the Zillion to like keep them alive for longer, which and great is good. great positioning, everything is spread out, so. Yeah, very good positioning. So Ari didn't really do much. And all, also, it's like you always want to keep like Estron and Lux cornered as much as possible for yep. the better AoE. That's an Azir, and I'll probably take something out, I think. No, I will pass it. Okay. I, I think I thought like I have nothing I can take out. You it would don't. be like the Lee Sin, I guess. Yeah. But then I remove for Divine. But it's you're like, I you was have like... no frontline. You have no frontline right now. Oh, okay. There's yeah. a Casio 3. I, I, I don't like the Lee Sin like this. I don't like it. I think it's going to die instantly. It has for divine. I think it's gonna do something oh, like wow. here. And it's gonna kick okay, that out. My bad. My bad. With oh yeah, you have yeah. the. Yeah, you know what Zillion. I realized? Like the, this, like the past few two days, I realized Listin is actually a fucking crank. And my favorite item on Listin is actually Frozen Heart. Because you put it on him, he's gonna kick a target, jump into like all the enemy carries, knock them up. Then it's gonna slow their attack speed, so like they're barely gonna cast, and he's just gonna be there like a sees about kicking them like right and left. I don't think he's the best legendary, but I think people are kind of sleeping on him. Like, oh. if you have four divine in, like, he's gonna be very tanky yeah, and yeah, he's gonna like, kick people. Four but I mean, if he didn't get, like, killed right away. And the fact that you have, yeah. I, I think it's the Zillion that actually saves him. Yeah, the Zillion two star, or if you have a GA on Lee Sin, is actually decent. I think you need, like, tank item or GA or a Zillion. Otherwise, Lee Sin sometimes just dies before even getting the second kick off. Because it seems like if Jin targets him. He's just dead. But Jin, for some reason, I don't understand why he targeted Shen instead of Zil instead of Lee Sin. This looks like what is? Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's, it's because 50, Shen 50. walks up like to the right of Lee Sin, so he's closer in terms of like. Actually, it's the same distance of Hexes. So, so I think it's just RNG. I think it's 50-50 who he targets yeah. because the distance is the same. Yeah. So that could have been that could have been very bad, very very bad. Yeah, instead he didn't target it, so he gets a kickoff on Elise into the Jin, and then like amazing. I win the fight of that, I think. Elise is... Oh, but actually... And then the Zillian got, gets his settlement off, so... Yeah, yeah. Also, okay. it's very good that like the Galio here is stuck on my Warwick for like three full autos, because those autos are one-shots on my other units. Pretty much, so it's good that it was in the back. Warwick, was in the... Like, Warwick doesn't do much because he's in the back, but he, he tanks a lot. Yeah, he, the reason I put him in the back is first I want the Zeeks on him. Second of all, he's a hunter, so like him not taking aggro and dying fast means he's gonna get more hunter procs off. Smart. So usually if I'm playing hunter comp, I like to keep Warwick in the back. Sometimes with like Z zero bramble just as a tank, but since he's a hunter, I want him to stay alive for quite a while. Yep. Yeah. There, here I think I put it on Estral because Zillion already has a tier and a Zeke, so he's not gonna need more mana. Or I put it on the Zillion, like, I put it on Estral or Zillion for the mana game. Uh, like, Shiv in this, at the moment, I feel like it's literally just a mana item. Like, a bad mana item yeah. that just generates mana. I would it put doesn't it on do the anything. I would put it on the Zillion because he might actually cast He's twice. two-star. And he might Yeah, exactly, again. he's two-star. Yeah, he yeah. might cast twice with that. Yeah, I put it on the Zillion. I think it's, if Ezreal was two-star, I would have considered putting it on the Estral. I'm like, another Zillion, okay. <laughs> There's a cane, but I can't play it. Yeah. He needs like turns to. I think I'm literally just looking for like the upgrades on my front well, line, you, and that's it. You could it. definitely use an Irelia or a Shen or something. Yeah, if I got like Lee Sin to Irelia to Shen to, that would be so huge because what I'm lacking right now is not damage. It's mainly just like front line units or like two star front lines. 
huge Estral ulti by me, or like from my Estral. Yeah, yeah, the Lee Sin uh, did some work here, but, but I think this is where I lose. Nunu is too yeah, the Nunu is too tanky. I can't kill it without a Giant Slayer or Last Whisperer. Or a Death Blade. So I just die here. Or a Death Blade. Yeah, maybe a Death Blade would have been enough. Yeah, a Death Blade would probably have honestly been a top four here. Got a fifth place, would probably have got oh, top fifth. four or top six. three. So fifth is even better than sixth. Good. Yeah, I didn't even. I thought it was sixth, but apparently it was a fifth place. But I feel like. This game, like the late game, I played pretty well, like in terms of like positioning. Like late game, you played like... really well, but you like you got yourself in a bad position thanks thanks to early game. Yeah, I agree. Like the early game, that game was the main issue, especially not econing and when having such a weak board and still trying to play best board for no reason when I literally can't win a single run with the board I have. Exactly. Yeah. So like I think the biggest issue was econ on stage two and then stage three. And then also, itemization on stage 2 and stage 3. Itemization. Like the items. Yeah. I mean, it kind of worked out. Oh, yeah, but uh, yeah, you could have had Titan's IE on the Ash. Or yeah, I could have had a little bit better items on Ash. Especially like the GA was not needed when I had a Zillion 2 anyway. So, like, it wouldn't even have been needed anyway. You had, I think you Zillion. already had the Zillion at that point. You did have the Zillion at the point where you got the No, GA. I didn't have the Zillion at the point, but I, like, as you said, I should have scouted the lobby and see that there's barely no talent players anyway. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't think... I'm pretty sure you did, yeah, bro. Was... I'm pretty sure you had a, you had a GA already. You had a GA already. You yeah, had... when I found... Yeah, I had a zillion already. Yeah. So it was definitely Death Blade here. You're correct. Like, you already had the zillion, which is like a GA. So. Yeah. So definitely so Death Blade. It... Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That definitely deserves you even more HP, well. and that should get you a top four. Yeah. Here. And, I mean, uh, we discussed the the Titans. You taught me about, about Runins. I will consider Runins more. Because it is yeah. not bad. And... Yeah, about the the decent interaction and stuff like that. So I think it was a learning experience for me for sure. So thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you too. I think I learned uh, quite a bit from this game, and I appreciate the coaching session. Uh, happy to hear that. Anytime, Alex. Take care. Yeah, anytime. You too. See you, man. Have a good time. Bye bye.